popping up on muni buses this week that critics say promote hate against Muslims. Night Beats Mark Kelly spoke with the woman behind the campaign and she says it's not the first and won't be the last, Mark. Well, Veronica, these messages splashed on 50 different Muni buses. And Muni riders we talked to tonight say these ads make them cringe. Hitler sitting side by side with the leader of the Muslim world. It reads, Islamic Jew hatred. It's in the Quran. The point of running that photo is to show that this virulent Jew hatred in the Muslim world goes way back. Pamela Geller, president of the American Freedom Defense Initiative, created the ad. They're also in New York and Washington, D.C. Geller says the killings in Paris last week show how urgently her message is needed here at home. In order to raise awareness about the nature, about the magnitude of Islamic anti-Semitism, a grim reality that is nearly universally ignored. Tonight, some people we talk to say this ad could do exactly that while others say freedom of speech reigns supreme. Something's gonna happen. I don't like it. What do you think when you, when you see this ad? Uh, I really don't feel anything, because you see worse things. And Veronica, the Council on American Islamic Relations denouncing these ads tonight. Yeah, they truly are controversial. Mark, I wanted to ask you, is Muni planning on keeping these ads up? Well, Muni sent out a statement tonight. The ads are staying up. They also apologize, though, for understanding that people could be offended by them. They also said, though, if they did not keep these ads up, it would almost certainly end in a lawsuit. Mm. Veronica.